Good morning or good evening. This is Janet from Servants for His Glory 44, and I come in the name of Jesus Christ, Yehoshua HaMashiach. And this is a Psalm, a Psalm 9, Psalm 91 intercession, spirit filled, meaning I will be praying in tongues at select times. And the verses that Abba has given in support of this are found in Romans 8, 26, that says, Likewise, the Spirit helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. So as I'm praying, I will not be asking for an interpretation. I will just be asking or yielding to the Holy Spirit as I believe that the Holy Spirit can pray more precisely than I can in my understanding. And I'm very grateful for this. I also believe that mysteries are unlocked when we pray in our heavenly language. And that praying the Holy Scriptures is very powerful, sharper than any two edged sword, as Hebrews 4.12 speaks on. And also that the word, it does not return unto us void. That is why I really like praying scriptures, and that's how Abba is leading me to do this particular intercession, is to pray using scripture and praying in our heavenly language. And I do apologize, my voice is still a bit raspy as I continue to overcome the winter season uh, challenges. In the word that Abba gave me this morning as I woke up was the word consolation. And he led me to these passages in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3 through 7, which are very much a blessing. And I am going to use these scriptures in this time of intercession. And I am very grateful once again to be able to join and to come in unity in this time of intercession. It's such a blessing, truly such a blessing to be able to gather, to pray on behalf of what is needed. And so I'm very thankful. I'm thankful that we can stand in the midst of challenges. And as I am reminded of a dear sister and the words that Abba has spoken to her as of recent to continue to stand in the midst of challenges. Abba, I'm very grateful that we can bear one another's burdens. We can stand with one another through challenges, through difficulties, through afflictions, through tribulation. Abba, I'm thankful for the words that you spoke to bring comfort, which is be of good cheer. Yes, in this world you will have tribulation, but you have overcome. Yes, I thank you for those words that bring encouragement. No matter what storm we would be going through, no matter if we are in the valley or on the mountaintop, I thank you, Abba, that we can count it all joy knowing that there is nothing wasted. There is nothing truly wasted as we surrender all, as we lay down our lives as living sacrifices. That sometimes it's not even about us. Sometimes it's you wanting to do something in the lives of those around us. And as we lay down our lives... You will use our own trials. You will use our circumstances, our storms to bring light to others, to comfort them, and to bring consolation as we can look back and see where you brought testimony from trial and then we can use those testimonies to encourage others in their own times of suffering, in their own times of trial. So again, let us enter into this time of intercession. 
with a mindset and a heart posture of gratitude, of contentment, of thankfulness, and knowing that no matter what we're going through, whether it's a difficult day or it's a a day that just seems to go by effortless, easy, light, that we will count it all joy, that we will persevere, that we will walk in contentment. And I thank you for each day, Abba, that you give us an opportunity to continue to lay down those things that would weigh us down and continue to press in and walk in the light as you are in the light. Abba, thank you for this time. We enter into your courts with a mindset and a heart posture of gratitude, of thankfulness. We bless your holy name. Yes, we bless you. We thank you. We glorify you. Abba, let everything, yes, let everything that occurs this day be glorifying to you. Or if we're laying down to go to sleep, Yes, let our sleep be sweet. Yes, let our sleep be sweet that we would wake up restored, ready to bring you glory, ready to do that which you would lead us to do. I ask you to forgive us where we fall short. Yes, I ask that you would forgive us. Anything that we should have done, that we didn't carry out, that we didn't follow through with, I ask right now for a divine pardon from your courts. I ask, Abba, that you would pour out mercy and grace upon those that have gathered here, upon those that would be scattered to and fro, our brothers and sisters, throughout the four corners of the earth, the north, the south, the east, the west, that you would pour out mercy and grace upon them, that she would pardon anything that needs to be pardoned, even something that may be coming through the bloodline, through the ancestry line. Abba, I ask that you would bring restoration. Yes, bring restoration in this hour, in the lives of your people, in the lives of families. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those that have trespassed against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom in the power, in the glory, in the mighty name of Yahushua HaMashiach. By faith we put the full armor on, the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the girdle of truth, the sandals of the preparation of the gospel of peace, the shield of faith, the sword of the spirit, even the garment of praise to combat the spirit of heaviness. Abba, I ask that you would hide us under the shadow of your mighty hand of protection and that we would be able to carry out our assignments this day undetected, unnoticed by the enemy that she would just keep us covered. Yes, I loose the blood of the lamb over us, over our mind, over our heart, over our soul, over our vessel, over everything that we would be a steward of, over our loved ones, those in our household, those things that we are steward of over our jobs. Yes, when we travel, that you would cover us, you would keep us. You would go before us and prevent anything, yes, prevent anything from taking place that would not be of you. Abba, I ask that you would ordain our steps this day and also concerning this week, that you would go before us and establish divine connections, divine opportunity, that you would bring forth that which your people are in need of. Yes, Abba, I ask that you would bring forth that which we are in need of. And on behalf of those that have gathered here, on behalf of those that are spread out throughout the four corners of the earth, the north, south, east, the west, 
Abba, whatever your people are in need of, I'm asking, Abba, as we're crying out to you in unity right now, that you will meet those needs. Thank you, Abba. Thank you, Abba. I just want to lift up these words. Found in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 3 through 7. Blessed be, and I like to say Yah, meaning Yahuwah, Yahushua. Blessed be Yah, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort, who comforteth us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble, by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of Yah. For as the sufferings of Christ Mashiach abound in us, so our consolation also aboundeth by Christ. And whether we be afflicted, it is for your consolation and salvation, which is effectual in the enduring of the same sufferings which we also suffer, or whether we be comforted, it is for your consolation and salvation. And our hope of you is steadfast, knowing that as ye are partakers of the suffering, so shall ye be also of the consolation. What a blessing and an encouragement these words bring. And I pray right now for those in need of comfort. Yes, our brothers and sisters, those that are in need of comfort, those that have gathered here, those that are spread out through the four corners of the earth, whatever the need is, Abba, where there is a need of comfort and consolation, Abba, I ask that you would comfort those that are in need of comfort right now. Thank you, Abba. Thank you. Thank you. Abba, I just ask that she would send a fire right now. Abba, send a fresh fire upon your people. Yes, Abba, I ask you to pour out a fresh fire right now, a fresh anointing. Yes. Dera vera colera na, dera da su nereveriti, kill let of on no cantarasi, nereveriti. Dera vera colera no, dera da su nereveriti, kill let of on no cantarasi, nereveriti. 
Abba, yes. I ask that you would loose your fire on this prayer altar. Yes, Abba, I ask you to pour out your consuming fire on this prayer altar. Yes, pour out your fire. Pour out your fire, Abba. Edavo no condarada si, ledavo no darada si, nedavariti. Nidavara coletavo no darada si in day. Yes, send a fire. Send a fire even over our prayer language. Those of us that are praying in the Spirit, that you would send a fire. Yes, let our prayer language, even let the words that we speak, be fire in the realm of the spirit. Yes, move in power. Move in power. Thank you, Abba. Yes, thank you, Abba. Abba, I thank you for these words found in Psalm 8, and I lift them up to you right now. You are our Lord, Yah. How excellent is thy name in all the earth, who has set thy glory above the heavens. Out of the mouths of babes and sucklings hast thou ordained strength, because of thine enemy is that thou mightest still the enemy in the avenger. When I consider the heavens and the work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars, which thou has ordained, what is man that thou art mindful of him, and the son of man that thou visiteth him? For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels, and hast crowned him with glory and honor. Thou hast made him to have dominion over the work of thy hands. Thou hast put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, yea, and the beasts of the field, the fowl of the air, and the fish of the sea, and whatsoever passeth through the pass of the seas. O Lord, Yah, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. Abba, I thank you for these words. Yes, I thank you for these words that are powerful. Yes, powerful. Sharper than any two-edged sword. Yes, I thank you, Abba. Yes, I thank you for these words. Yes, Abba, let these words build up our spirit, man. Yes, Abba, let these words bring renewal. Yes, Abba, let these words root within us. I declare by faith Psalm 9. I will praise thee, Yah, with my whole heart. I will show forth all thy marvelous works. I will be glad and rejoice in thee. I will sing praise to thy name, O thou most high. When my enemies are turned back, they shall fall and perish at thy presence. For thou hast maintained my right and my cause. Thou sateth in the throne judging right. Thou hast rebuked the heathen, thou hast destroyed the wicked, thou hast put out their name forever and ever. O thou enemy, destructions are come to perpetual end, and thou hast destroyed cities, and their memorial is perished with them. But Yah shall endure forever, he hath prepared his throne for judgment, and he shall judge the world in righteousness, he shall minister judgment to the people in uprightness. Yah will also be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee. For thou, Yah, 
has not forsaken them that seek thee. Sing praises to Yah which dwelleth in Zion. Declare among the people his doings. When he maketh inquisition for blood, he remembereth them. He forgetteth not the cry of the humble. Have mercy upon me, O Yah. Consider my trouble which I suffer of them that hate me. Thou that lifteth me up from the gates of death, that I may show forth all thy praise in the gates of the daughter of Zion, I will rejoice in thy salvation. The heathen are sunk down in the pit that they made. In the net which they hid is their own foot taken. Yah is known by the judgment which he executeth. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. Hegian Selah the wicked shall be turned into hell and all the nations that forget Yah. For the needy shall not always be forgotten. The expectation of the poor shall not perish forever. Arise, Yah, let not man prevail. Let the heathen be judged in thy sight. Put them in fear, Yah, that the nations may know themselves to be but men. Selah. Abba, I thank you for these words, powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, and I ask that you would honor them on behalf of those that have gathered here and on behalf of the saints that are spread out throughout the four corners of the earth, the north, the south, the east, the west, in alignment with Psalm 9. Nedevera kuletavono, erevera kuletavono, Dira vara kuletavono, erevri ki, letavono, erevri ti. Nira vara kuletavono, darasi, nerevri ti. Erevara letavono, kondarasi, nerevri ti. Vo kuletavono, erevri ti. Nara vara letavono, kondarasi. Nira vara kuletavono, erevri ti. Nara vara kuletandarasi, ne e te. Dira vera kuleva no dira siata no da kuleva no da da si nara variti. Nira vera kuleva no da da si nara variti. E leva no kuleva da si and day. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, thank you. Abba, I just ask that whatever it takes for souls to come into your kingdom this day, that you would bring it forth. Yes, Abba, that you would bring it forth, that you would draw hearts. Draw hearts, yes, draw hearts, soften hearts, take the scales off of eyes, attune ears, let a spiritual awakening come forth. Yes, Abba, I ask that you would even awaken more and more of your people to the times in which we're living in, that you would bring spiritual preparation, spiritual preparation Abba, thank you. I ask that you would bring restoration. I thank you for restoration that's coming forth. Abba, I ask that you would bring healing. And I thank you. I call it forth right now. Abba, I ask that you would bring provision where there is a need for provision, that you would bring it forth right now. Abba, those that are in need of opportunity. Yes, Abba, that you would bring opportunity. I call it forth right now. Abba, those that are in need of renewal, they're feeling weary. I ask you to bring it forth right now. I thank you that it's coming forth. All these things are coming forth. Yes, they're coming forth. Yes, Abba, let it be poured out. Even as I'm seeing a vision right now of just, it, it looks like a bucket just pouring out. Yes, thank you that you pour out oil sufficient. Yes, sufficient for the need. Yes, pour out right now, Abba. Pour out that which your people are in need of. Yes, Abba. 
whatever the need is, and the need is great, that you will pour it out. Yes, pour out your peace, pour out your tender mercies. Protect and keep your people. Yes, let them be hid. Let the activities of this day, yes, be in alignment with your will. Or if we're laying down to go to sleep, whatever whatever it is that we would be doing in this hour. Yes, Abba, that you would align. You would align our steps. You would align our movements with your will in that, Abba, your favor, your blessing, your protection would be over your people right now in the mighty name of Yahushua HaMashiach. Yes, a a te kilet of on the dead of sea, net of a colet of on the dead of sea, very kilet of on the condor of the sea, net of a colet and dead of the sea, volet of on the condor of the sea, let of on the dead of the sea. Yes, a dev on the condor, let on the dead of sea. Let peace be their portion. Yes, those that have gathered here and our brothers and sisters that are spread out throughout the four corners. Let peace be their portion. Let your abundant peace, thank you, Prince of Peace, let peace be their portion. I declare by faith Psalm 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will save Yah, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God, and him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night nor for the air that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eye shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made Yah, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and dragon shall thou trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, Therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Abba, I thank you for these words that are powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword. And Abba, I ask that you would honor these words in the mighty name of Yahushua Mashiach, by the power of the blood of the Lamb, by the power of the finished work of the cross, by the power of the resurrection, by the power of the Logos, by the words of our testimony. Yes, I ask that you would honor these words on behalf of your people, those that have gathered here, and on behalf of those that are spread out throughout the four corners, on behalf of everything that they have a steward of, or they that they are a steward of, and on behalf of that which is taking place presently in this hour throughout the four corners, Holy Spirit, I ask you to pray on behalf of these things. Dira vera kuleravano, aravano darara si leravano, dira vera kiende, neravriti. Era vera kuleravano darara su neravriti. 
Volerevano derasi ne elerevano con derasi nereveriti. Derevera lerevano con derasi lerevano con derasi. Vere ki lerevano erevano con derasi ne et elerevano de elerevano con derasi. Vera lerevano con derasi lerevano con derasi nereveriti. Nerevera colerene, erevera colerevano, derasine, e lerevono contarasi. Nerevera lerevono contarasi, lerevono contarasi. Derevera colerevono contarasi, nereveriti. Nerevera derasi, nereveriti. Nerevera ki lerevono contarasi, nereveriti. Nereveriti, lerevono contarasi, nereveriti. Lerevano de aravato, so nereveriti. Nerevere kilerevono, kandarasi, vere kilerevono, aravara kilerandarasi, nereveriti, nereveri ki and day, lerevono, kandarasi, lerevono, kandarasi and day. Thank you, Abba. Yes, thank you, Abba. And now I ask Holy Spirit that you would pray that everything that has been lifted up that it will transfer from the realm of the spirit into the natural, that angels on assignment would be released, that delays, blockages, and hindrances would be cast down. Yes, in the mighty name of Yehoshua HaMashiach. Derevera colored and dotted a son, never eat the Ereki let of no dotted a sea. Vereki let of no da an no dotted a cell let of no dotted a sea kin de. Derevera colored and dotted a sea, never at the an no let of no dotted a sea. Never a let of no condotted a sea, let of no dotted a sea. Vera colored of no condotted a sea. Vera colored and no dotted a sea, never eat the Kin that ever a colored and no dotted a sea. Derevono condera su nerevriti, e lerevono condera si, lerevono condera si, nerevera colerevono, erevono condera si, nerevriti, nerevera colerevono, da anno derra su lerevono condera si, vi chi lerevono, eravera lereno derra si, nerevriti, nerevera colerevono derra si, lerevono, eravera colerevono derra su nerevriti. Vi chi lerevono, daravano dare la su lerevono dare iete. Nereveriti, 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 lerevono con dare la su nereveriti. Aravara lerano da a colerevono dare la su nereveriti. Nerevara colerano dare la su nereveriti. Aravara lerano con dare la su nereveriti. Ete nerevericchienda, no daravarato con dare la su nereveriti. Aravara colerevono con dare la su lerevono. Derevara colerano dare la si nereveriti. Chi lerano da. Aravara colerevono dare la su nereveriti. Nerevara colerevono con dare la si lerevono con dare la si ne. Eravara colerevono con dare la su nereveriti. E te lerano dare la su nereveri. Aravara colerevono da anno lerevono con dare la si nereveriti. Nerevera colerevono, ever let it know that I no let it on no condera see. Derevera colerevono, ever no de see, kill let it on no de eti. Erevera colerevono, that it is so nereveriti, key nereveriti. Erevera colerevono, that it is so let it on no that it is see. Nerevera condera see, let it on no that it is see and they thank you, Abba. Yes, thank you, Abba. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Mashiach. Yes, thank you. Thank you. I pray all these things in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Yehoshua HaMashiach. Amen.